Okay, good morning, B students for Intro to Engineering Design. Um, so unfortunately, I still don't get to see you yet. Uh, the six of you that are in the B group will be here Wednesday in person for the first time. Uh, so we've got a, a couple of days here that we have to you know, keep going. Uh, the goal here is by all means, you should be spending about 30 minutes per day on this class. Uh, so I do expect that you've spent you know, about an hour on this on this project already before I see you for the first time. Uh, and it's going to be really important that you you have done that because when we get back, the assignments that you have are going to be the required pieces that we need to be able to move forward on Wednesday. Uh, so make sure you've got that done. Um, so really quick today, I want to just talk about the project that you're going to be starting this week, as well as the assignments that you should be doing um, Monday and Tuesday. So this is the week four landing page. Hopefully you're seeing this right now. Um, if you are watching this video, you definitely have seen it. Um, I might email it out to you. That might actually not be a bad idea. But here's the week four video. We got a little Obama meme. So we're ready to get back to work. So first thing we've got here is our, our plan for going into this week. We're going to be starting our first project this week is project 1.1.5, and I've linked to the project lead the way page down here. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, it's designing basically a game for a, like a school fun fair. So not quite on the, on the level of like a whole carnival game or something like that, but the similar idea to something like that. Um, and hopefully using the, the launcher that you made last week. So actually two weeks ago, you made that. So you're looking at this as a B group student right here. So you're in this, this row. Um, I've put in person on the days that you're going to be here. So you're going to be here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. And on the days that you're gone, there are links to the assignments that you have to complete. So first thing you're doing is watching this video. Um, I'm going to try to keep it fairly short here, 15 minutes or so at the most. And then there's a quick assignment here, completing a design brief. Then tomorrow you're going to be brainstorming ideas and generating concept sketches. And I'll show you that assignment in just a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the Project Lead the Way page. Um, it is linked to the version for distance learning because we can't still do these activities together in class like with a group of people because we aren't allowed to be that close to each other. Um, and you're going to be doing a lot of it at home. So we're going to use this distance learning as much as we can. Um, now, one thing you're going to notice is that this is a huge list of things. I have gone and broken it down by the steps of the design process. And it's, it's kind of broken down that way here. Um, so you can see there's some directions as to what this project is. You should definitely read through those. And then it just kind of goes through each step of the design process. Define the problem, generate the concepts, develop the solution, construct and test, evaluate, and present. And we're going to be doing each of those steps. Um, for some of those, it's going to be a couple of days on just one step. For others, it's kind of a step per day. But you'll kind of see how that goes. Um, a couple of things in here that you have access to that I want you to generally take a look at. First of all is going to be uh, the guidelines for what this game is. So we're creating a fun fair game uh, that's a game of combination of skill and luck. So you know, just because you're really good doesn't mean you should win every time. And just because you're really bad, you're going to win less, but still not none. Um, so we're hosting a fun fair, you're designing a game, and you've got guidelines right here. Uh, these are going to be really important. Your game has to abide by these guidelines in order to be considered for, for grading. Uh, so you've got a maximum game footprint or size, three feet by 10 feet. Uh, if you were doing this like on top of a counter or a table at home, or on top of one of the desks at school, that's less than that size, so you should be fine. If you're doing it on the ground, then make sure you're not going too big. Um, individual game features have to be less than 20 by 30. Game must incorporate either launching or tossing a bean bag. Um, I don't actually have the bean bags yet, so you're gonna, we're going to still use the, the bottle cap thing. Uh, your game should use a mathematical model to determine the required accuracy, so we did that on Friday with our um, actually Thursday and Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We did all three days where we looked at that data and we, we grouped it and found out, um, you know, what the center would be and what the, the radius was. And the idea would be that you could shrink that radius to fit a certain number of 
of wins, like half of the wins within the circle or something like that. Your game should clearly explain how to interact the game. So you need to write rules. We're going to shoot for the likelihood of winning to be less than 25%. <clears throat> it should be easy to reset. So it shouldn't take an hour to, to set up. It should, I think it's a you know, 30 seconds or something is what they're supposed to give you. And it has to be safe. It's a fun fair, no dangerous things. Uh, we've got a, a review of the design process here. We've got a little bit of a reminder that everything that you're doing for this project has to end up in your engineering notebook. Um, I'm expecting you to put that stuff in your engineering notebook and then turn in the engineering notebook itself to be graded. Now, one thing here, this list, it is technically a list of everything you could possibly want to know about this. And it's a rubric of how you could be graded. It's way too much information. I'm going to break this thing down into pieces for you. Uh, and we're going to grade each piece kind of separately rather than dealing with all that. So don't worry so much about that. This one is important. Um, your, um, your, your deliverables, basically. So each of these things you're going to be turning in close to um, exactly like you have here. So a completed design brief. You're going to be turning that in hopefully today. That won't take you too long to do. Um, tomorrow and Wednesday, we're going to be working on generating concepts. So we'll be brainstorming. We'll be doing concept sketches. I'm going to have you do four concept sketches, not two. We'll talk about decision matrices. We'll talk about how to pick a design, and then you'll have to, to pick one design. Um, and that one's, I think that that's Thursday or something like that. And then developing a solution. Um, you know, we're going to start that by the end of the week on Friday. We won't get into the mathematical modeling until next week. Um, but you'll have your kind of game rules and a, and a really detailed sketch that you're going to be turning in by Friday. And then next week, we'll do this mathematical model. We'll start making a prototype. We'll test it. And then we'll actually run the numbers again and show that our test worked. And we'll pr you know, present our final solution. So all of those things are going to be in your engineering notebook. Pay attention to Canvas specifically because some of those have changed just a little bit. You know, If it says two here, but Canvas says four, you have to do four. Um, you know, Canvas is the ultimate tool here, the ultimate rules. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to start off with the, defining the problem. That's what you're doing today. Um, and so you're going to have in Canvas a link to a design brief like this that you can actually fill out and submit right in Canvas. Uh, there's a little bit of information on what a design brief is. If you just click on that, it opens up for you. And so you can see... Um, the components of a design brief. Some of these are filled in for you, like the client is already going to be filled in, the target consumer is going to be filled in, the designer, that's that's you. Um, the problem statement, I think that one is one that you have to write. So a clear and concise identification of the problem. So what what is your job in this assignment? A design statement is going to be a statement that tells me what you have to do. So the problem might be something like, the village doesn't have any way to get water, the design statement might be create a way for the village to get water. Uh, just a, it's kind of the same idea, but worded as a problem and worded as a here's what I'm going to do. And then you've got criteria and constraints in the assignment. Those are both listed for you. Criteria are specific um, and they describe what it must do. Um, criteria are measurable. So these are things that you can say, you know, I did really good. I did not so good. It kind of on a scale um, for ours. The biggest one is going to be things like hitting the target the right number of times and things like that. Constraints are the limits. These are kind of like your hard yeses or nos. Um, product size was one of those. If you go over three feet by 10 feet, I'm going to send it back and say redo it. There's no, well, you kind of did it. It works OK. It's it's too big. You aren't allowed into the, into the fair. Um, safety. If you design something that's going to hurt somebody, I'm going to tell you to redo it. Um, simple as that. Criteria is something I could say, eh, you're close. That's a B. Constraints are redo it. Kind of a good way to think about those. Um, they talk a little bit about what a problem statement is. You might want to review that. <clears throat> and then there's a design brief template down here. Don't use that one. Use the one that's linked on, on Canvas right here. So when you click on this one, it's going to be filled out for the project, except for a few pieces that you have to fill out. So your job for today is going to be to complete this design brief template. You click on it. It's going to open up a page 
um, there'll be a button in here. I think there's a, yeah, so you can, you can fill this out and then you're just going to be turning it in. There'll be like a blue submit button up here. Um, so yeah, you have to fill in the designer. That's your name. Um, the problem statement in your own words. What are you, what's the problem you're trying to solve here? And the design statement. Then you've got criteria. They list them for you on this one. Um, I say no injuries reported while playing the game is a constraint, but whatever. And then you've got constraints, space constraints and time constraints. Um, if this was a normal year, again, I'd probably have a date in there already for you. Uh, the goal is going to be next week, uh, the end of next week at this point. So if you want to tentatively put October 9th, you can do that. But we're going to be flexible because we've never done it this way before. I've never done this assignment before, but we've never done it this way before. Uh, then go back here. Tomorrow you've got kind of one assignment that's broken into two little pieces for you. Come on, are you going to go back or not? There we go. You've got kind of one assignment that's built into two pieces. This is your generating concepts idea. So you're going to be brainstorming game ideas and, and making concept sketches. And so in this part here, you've got two big pieces here. You're going, to, you're going to generate concepts. I want you to spend at least 15 minutes brainstorming. In this process, I really want you to be quick. This is a list of ideas as fast as possible. I want to shoot my beanbag at a, cat, at a clown. I want to shoot my beanbag at a UFO. Um, I want to make it so that the beanbag, when you make it into the target, lights up a light. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, 15 ideas at the least, but it, I just listed off three in 30 seconds. So you could probably list 115 minutes if you really went for it. At this point, probably just a list, but make sure it gets in your engineering notebook. After that 15 minutes, stop your timer. Give yourself another 15 minutes. You're going to generate four candidates for ideas here. These ones should be kind of the best of what you came up with. Um, you can combine concepts together. You can you know, keep changing things and tweaking things, but I want these to be pretty detailed. A sketch of how the game's going to work along with some annotations of, of kind of what I would need to know to understand your idea. And I'm looking for four different ideas. There can be some similarities, obviously, um, but I do want the four ideas to be different things. And those are going to go in your engineering notebook. And then all you have to do to turn this in is to submit your engineering notebook. Um, once you put everything in it, you should just be submitting it, and that's really good. <clears throat> and so you can share it, make sure you share it, and then either paste it in the text box or put the URL or whatever you want to do for that. This should take you about 30 minutes total. Um, Monday's assignment, today's assignment, I guess, should take you a little bit less than that. Um, but that's kind of the goal. So let me know if you have questions. Um, you can always send me emails or anything like that. Um, and then also on Wednesday, I've set aside some time for kind of questions on the project and things like that, but that's kind of what we're going for. There's your link to the project page. Um, and then you've got links to your individual assignments and the video was right there. I will see you all Wednesday, I guess.